Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, I'll show you the best gallery plugin available for Elementor, using which we can create different types of galleries using free Elementor. So you don't need to buy Elementor Pro at least for creating galleries. This free plugin has lots of cool looks available. Let me show you a few of them, then we'll show you how you can install and use this plugin on your website. And to explore all the demos available in this free plugin, just follow the first link in the description which will take you to this page. And here you can see all the demos. You can also get the demo idea from these images. And you can see lots of demos are available. Most of them are free and some are pro. We will explore them and then I'll show you how you can use this plugin, okay? So let's explore a few of them. I'll open up the first one. Then this one. And here we have the demo one. You can see the hover animations and effects. And on click, it will open up that image. This is a slider having all the images of the gallery. You can also go with full screen. You can zoom the picture like this. You can share it and you can close it. Then this is another look available with animation and a read more which will open up that image. And this is another one with this look. This will open up this gallery. You can use this for portfolio items. Okay. Then this is another same look. And so on. And this is another layout with this type of hover animation and also these shapes. Again, we can click on it to explore the image. And this is a diamond style. And it also has this description available. This is another look, again with image, title and description. And you can use this for team members as well, okay? And someone click on it, it will show the image and also the description. And this is another demo, you can see the hover effects, the hover animation, read more and so on. This is another one which show the description and how. Same goes for this one. And by the way, these colors and images are completely customizable, so you can change them. This is another demo. You can see this floating info. And this is another one. If I hover over any item, it will show those images. And if I click it, this will bring those images and horizontal line like this. We have this demo as well with animations, okay? And this is another one, you can use this for blog posts as well. This is pastel demo, explore, this is how it will look. So these are some demos available in this plugin. Now let's see how we can download this plugin and then how we can use it. So to download this plugin for free, just go to this link in the description and then click on download free. Which will download is a file, just like this one. The plugin name is Fixel Gallery. Now let's upload this to our WordPress dashboard. And no matter what theme you are using, just make sure it's compatible with Elementor, okay? And then make sure to install Elementor and you can see I'm using the free Elementor here. Let's install that plugin. So we'll go to plugins, add new and upload plugin. And here we can choose file and select that plugin. We'll open it and install now. And let's activate it. And once you activate it, it will take to its dashboard. By the way, this is from the same company who are offering element spec. I have lots of videos about this plugin as well. And the dashboard is also the same. And here you can see all widgets and active widgets, total widgets and so on. Then you can just go to core widgets. And again, you can get the gallery idea from these images or you can just click on this view button to check a specific demo. And here you can also filter them by free and pro and you can search for a specific one. You can activate all or deactivate all and so on. Let's save our changes here. Now let's see how we can use this plugin. For that we'll create a new page. Let's just call it gallery. And we'll edit this page with Elementor. And let's close this. And let's change the settings of this page to make it clean. Now if I search for gallery here, 
You will see all those demos here on this page, like Killian Gilly, Abair, Exin, Crop, Craze, and so on. These are just names you can use in your demo, okay? And let's say I want to use this one, so I'll just drag it over here. And this is one of the demos that I have showed you, okay? This is gallery item 1, 2, and obviously we can change text, we can change these colors, and we can change the images as well. And if you don't like it, you can just delete it, and then search for gallery again, and use another layout. Now this is a simple one. If you are okay with this, you can just use it. And let's find another one. And let's say this is fine. Now let me show you how you can customize it. Just click on it. And then under layout, you will see this grid template columns. It will is fine because this is a base for web design. If you change it, you may disturb this look. And then you will have to play with coil span and row span. So for now, let's go with fill columns. And this is the row gap, which is this gap. And this is the column gap. Let's increase them. You will notice the changes. And let's also make this 25. And this is the item height. If you want to give them specific height like this, okay? It's up to you. Let's make it 350. This is the item alignment. So you can align these items to the top, center, and left. Then we have masonry look. If you enable this, then you will notice this after changing the images, okay? I'll cover this later on. Then show title, show meta, this, this is the title and meta content, okay? You can hide them if you don't want to. Like this. This is the alignment, you can align them to center, right, or you can justify them. Then image resolution, you can change the image resolution if you want to, and link. So you can either link it to media file or custom URL, okay? Then if you go to items, where you will see the actual gallery items. You can open up any of them where you can change the image, the title, meta and read more. Let's change this image, so I'll just click on it. Now this will open up the media library where you can upload an image or you can use any of these images. Let's say this one. And that's it. And you can also use a video if you want to, okay? Just switch to it. Then you can add a poster for it, like the thumbnail. You can change the video source and you can change the video link. For now, let's go with the images, okay? And this is gallery item 1, so let's change it. I am just giving you an idea, you can write any text. Then this is read more. This template doesn't have read more, but I have showed you in the demos. If you are using them, you can change the read more as well. And then if you want, you can give it a custom URL, or you can hide this item completely. Which will show a blank space, if you want to hide that as well, you can just click on it. Then you can hide this on tablet. This is best for design, okay? If you want to hide this and this, and you want to have a unique look. And that's it. This is how you can change the gallery content, okay? You can go with all these items. You can change the image, description, and read more. And let's say this is fine. You can go to interest animation, and you can enable it if you want to. This is how this will look. Then go to style, where you can further customize these styles. This is the item style. If you want to give it a specific background, you can just click on it. And you can change the background color, like this, okay? Then the border radius, which will be these rounded corners and padding which will be the spacing like this and margin which will be the outer spacing okay let's remove them because these are disturbing our look and we don't want this background as well and for the content you can change the background for this content the border radius padding and margin as well then this is for the image if you want you can enable this plus morphism for which you can see this blur animation and also this blur level and this is the overlay, if you want to give it some overlay, you can just give it like this, okay? But the default one was fine. And then this is border type, you can give it border, border radius and padding. This is for the title, if you want you can change the title color. And then again spacing and margin, let's give this something like this. And you can change the typography where you can change the font family, font sizes, weight, transform and so on. You can learn these things by going to my Elementor playlist, okay? And then this is Meta, which is this description. Then this is Mask, where you can enable masks. And you can give it a specific path, and then you can have that mask shape on your images, okay? That I showed you in the demo. So in this way, you can add a gallery, and then you can customize it, okay? Let's use another gallery. And let's say this one. This is how it will look. We also have these social icons, okay? Then another one. 
and again you can go to items click on any one and choose an image and that's it this is now our new gallery if you like this look then you can remove all of them so this is how you can use this pixel gallery plugin and you can create different types of galleries in your elementor website absolutely for free and again the plugin link is in the description where you can explore all these demos and you can download this plugin and to learn more about wallface elementor and woocommerce just follow my channel and make sure to subscribe to the channel because 90 percent of you only watch the videos and don't subscribe and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next